Taurus! What is going on, baby? They can't ignore us. It is Mira, it is Shiva, it is Vera, it is Scorpio and Red Several. I am back at it again for the new year. Happy 2021 to you. We have made it, you guys. Happy New Year. Happy, happy New Year. I hope everyone enjoyed, you know, their New Year celebrations. We done made it through 2020, you guys. We're here to figure out what type of energy is going to be surrounding you guys for January 2021. You know, we're here to have fun. Shout out to all my OG. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you guys who have clicked this video, past, present, and in the future. Shout out to all my future babies who are going to click this video later on, okay? So I want to give a lot of mm -mm -mm blessings to you. Thank you so much for, you know, coming and chilling out with your girl. So listen, if there's anyone that would like to book a personal or private reading, if you want to show some support to the page or contact me for any reason, only thing you need to do is check the description box of this video or click the uh, bio tab for my YouTube page. Um... It has all of the ways to reach out with me, all the different ways to show support. Um, if you wish to, you know, send a love donation and donate. And if you would like to reach out to me for booking, uh, the best way to contact me is through Instagram. Instagram Messenger, which you'll see my Instagram link on my page. Um, and if you do not have Instagram, just email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com and I'll get you all situated and we'll get everything going um as you guys know before we get into any of the energy and find out what's going on i always give thanks to father god the creator um and you know father god the creator the universe whatever you want to call him um or whoever you know you pray to um just for everything that we have and everything that we're doing and everything that we've been receiving and grace graciously where we're standing right now we gotta give thanks for where we're currently standing um so that we can receive more in our life amen so let's bow our heads father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of taurus for january 2021 father god we're here just grace and graciously receiving your hand and just uh you know receiving any type of help any type of knowledge any type of encouragement any type of nourishment that we need during this process during this time father god we are determined to be even more successful than we already are father god we stand here strong we stand here victorious father god we stand here with our back you know straight and just you know our chin up father god and just we just ready but whatever is coming our way in 2021, because we know we're going to triumph over it all and we will receive victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, Father God, give us whatever information that we need to receive today to make us stronger, to make our blessings last longer. Because it's not about receiving the blessings, it's about keeping it and maintaining it in the name of Jesus. So, Father God, give us the nourishment that we need today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So, listen, I, for the bonus readings, um, I had, you know, used the tea leaf readings, you know, I used the tea leaf cards, and I just said, you know, I was really liking the way that that felt, instead of me using the tarot dice, I switched it up with the runes, and then these are the new cards that we had just received, you know, right at the tail end, coming out of, you know, 2020, so I said, let's keep it going along that energy, and let's see what type of stuff we got today, so... Father God, give me guidance for Taurus for January. Give me three cards. Let's see what it says. Ooh, you got the crib. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Ooh. Hm. Taurus, what were you doing in 2020? Hold on. Ooh. Ooh, and then you got the ladder coming towards success. All right, Taurus. Damn sure won't ignore us. Ooh, y'all been busting them down, huh, Taurus? <laughs> what you done did? Oh, it's a chair field. Someone new entering your life. Yes, God. Come on, claim it. Oh, Tom. What? What is going on, baby? Who you been knocking the boots with? Knocking, knocking, knocking the boots. Oh, you done climbed up somebody ladder. <laughs> Taurus. Taurus. Oh, Lord, Taurus. Who you done got that chair filled and you climbed up a ladder and you'd have been knocking some boots and conceived something that you could believe in the name of Jesus? Lord, I really do feel like whatever you've been putting your energy into, have it been a business? Um, Because it could have easily been a business venture as well. You just trying to climb the social ladder and 
whatever the position is, the chair may be filled with you. Lord Jesus, I cannot hold these damn cards. It's like the chair may be filled with you. It's like you may be firmly seated. It's like you finally um, kind of put yourself in the right position. Like you're in the right position in regards to like business uh, in, in some like type of organization. I really do feel like you've climbed this ladder and now you're firmly seated. The chair is filled. Like, you know, like the position is filled. So it's like they're taking down the job announcement because the seat is filled. Like you climbed the ladder in that. So shout out to you guys for that. I like that energy. And just in general, if you were, if you are an entrepreneur and you were looking for a partner, the chair may be filled. You may have found someone, listen, climbing towards success. You found the right person that, you know, can help you see this business venture all the way. So it's like, you know how business minds are. Like there's one creator and then there's the other person that is like the go-getter. The one that pulls the dream, the vision together. So... You could be the speaker, but your partner is the one that does the networking, that puts the word out, that hits the media, that made you popular. You know what I'm saying? So it would not be, it's like a, it's a partnership. It's a team type of thing going on there. It's like, you know, a one, two punch with the two of you guys. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Um, I'm kind of getting like a Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis type of energy, <laughs> like that name alone. It's like, um, what's the, what's the two dudes that, um, the, um, uh, movie commentators and stuff is, um, those two white guys, those two old white guys, they, um, oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. I cannot think of them. Um, okay. So what is this? Oh, you got the reef. Sorrow over loss. Oh, Lord. Okay, come on. Two more. What is this about? Two more for Taurus. You got an angel. Spiritual guidance and protect from harm. Oh, no. They're literally saying like y'all may be having to go to pay respects to somebody. It's like someone that passed away. I don't know if it's something that recently happened now. Like at present time or something in the past. I don't. It's not something that's happening in the future. I know that for sure. It's like something that already happened or... Yeah, they're like you're just, it's like you're going to just go set some flowers down or something to pay some respect, you know, to someone that has passed on, that you still have sorrow about. It's like that you still miss, that you still, it's like you're still paying your respects. It's like, you know, like how sometimes people can move on or pass on. Like this don't even necessarily have to do with. Uh, physical depth this could be like a spiritual depth like a relationship that has died uh, a commitment or something that is just past its time it's past this expiration date you know what I'm saying um, you may still be grieving over that you're still paying your respects to it it still lives with you because sometimes situations or people can pass on and for years it's like there are people that still acknowledge, you know what I'm saying, the passing. So it's like the spiritual presence still lives on because it's still someone in the physical sense that still loves them. Because there are so many people that pass on and it's like their family completely forgets them in a year. It's like nobody thinks about them. Nobody cherishes them. No one puts their pictures up. No one, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm... Being told to tell y'all, like, that's a hurtful experience for, um, because I feel like they see that. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, for someone to 
have loved you and have to move and have moved on and you can't even put a picture up of remembrance or some flowers or something like that. Um, and sometimes it's not even of grieving. It's, it's, it's out of respect. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know why I'm having to say that. Um, but I'm having to say that for some reason. I'm really having to say that. Um, because there are some people that really, really don't understand that, um, it's something, it's something about, I don't know why they want me to say, it's something about the soul's purpose to be missed, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, even as the soul has passed it on, passed on, it's like, they still want to know that they're missed. Not that you're grieving and of sorrow, they don't want you to get past the sorrow and it just be a respect being there. Just put the picture up or just... Lay some flowers out on a birthday or something like that. Like, but relieve the grief and sorrow. And it's just the respect of being missed. Like, that's all they ask or something. So, if there is someone that's still holding on to something that's like 10 years past time. And it's like, you you still shouldn't be crying. It's like, let the crying go and and kind of be at peace with that. There's, oh, okay, I got it, I got it, okay, let me just keep going. And then you got the out, look, good advice from a wise person. <laughs> so it's like, again, it's like, there's someone that is like, watching over you, um, that is protecting you, that clearly has eyes over you, and it wants you to stop grieving about a situation. I don't... It's, it's, they're saying like a situation ship. It's like a situation. This is not, this has nothing to do with them. This, like, seriously, it's like a situation ship. I don't even feel like this was a marriage or something now that they're telling me. Like, this is, they, they want you to stop grieving over a situation because it's not even a physical death. It's like a spiritual death. It's not something that was meant to last, but you're allowing it to continue to live and let it linger you know what I'm saying and let it thrive by sorrow you know like that's literally what they're saying and it's like they're watching you do this and it's like you gotta let it go and just learn how to pay respects to the situation that's how you honor it not by grieving not by letting it hurt you do you do you get what I'm saying and then now they're saying it's about survival. It's about survival of the fittest. And no one's going to help you if they keep seeing you crying. Like, you got to be strong. You got to be strong. You got to stop mourning. You got to be strong. I'm serious. Like, I don't know who, who that was for, but, like, that's, like... <laughs> serious all right so let's um get some clarification so let's find out um, and then let me bring this together here so picking up off of this jumping on over here one hand washes the other right one hand washes the other so there's somebody that's protecting you from something that's watching over you, that's trying to feed some information to you to get you to look the other way or look at things the other way. Because right here with this ladder of, of success, it's like even if even if you feel you have hit rock bottom, which I don't even get that. I really don't get that. It's like there's nowhere to go but up the hill you know what I'm saying everything's going uphill <laughs> you know what I'm saying so you just got to keep climbing keep climbing keep climbing climbing towards success keep climbing I swear this chair is going to be filled I don't know if it's like you're craving or desiring or just wanting a replacement something to replace it's like something in your life, it's like a gap, there's a hole, there's a void, and it's like, it needs to be filled with something. I don't know if it's a job, 
if it's a, a love, a birth of another child, you know what I'm saying? An invention, whatever it is, it's something that's missing and it's going to be replaced. You just got to pay your respect. Pay your respect. It's like, do what they want you to do. Because, I mean, they're watching you. And they're really giving you good advice. You know what I'm saying? Whoever your spiritual team, your spiritual guide, your spiritual angels are that's sending me this message. It's like, you know, just pay your respects. No more sorrow. You know what I'm saying? Then they're saying, we understand it's missing. It shall be replaced. It shall be replaced. <laughs> Listen, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. And if it's something that was taken from you and wasn't given back, it was for a reason. Listen, good advice for, from a wise person. It was for a reason. I'm just going <laughs> And now they say people going to do what they want to do. People going to do what they want to do. It was for a reason. Okay, so let's clarify. Give me two cards over here. for. Ooh, okay. Okay. But I feel like this is supposed to go over here. And it is. <laughs> and it is. <laughs> Kyle was like, no. We're going to address this first. <laughs> Listen. So you got the Ten of Swords in the reverse. And the Three of torches in the reverse so this is good energy so it's like the worst is over it's time to really pick yourself up and start looking elsewhere it's time for you to travel and to move on but it's like i feel like it's been taking you so long to heal with those three of swords it's like a mental um some type of mental anguish i want to say like depression almost you know that I'm getting like someone, they're saying fixated on thinking about the past and it's like kind of not letting up and it's like you don't want to go nowhere, you don't want to kind of get yourself together and it's like someone just kind of sitting in the dark and just wallowing and kind of just sinking almost and oh my god it's like your spiritual god just saying I'm like are you for real? <laughs> I just literally heard that. And like, are you for real? <laughs> oh my god. Y'all spiritual gods. <laughs> oh, oh god. Okay, listen. Listen. But no, serious. Because they're saying you're fucking stronger than that. I don't know who the hell this is. This <laughs> is talking to me right now. But they're like, are you for real? Like, you're a fucking strong. Like, you're a warrior. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to get to the rooms and see what the rooms got to say. It's like, you're a fucking warrior. They, ooh. They said you would need to release that demon and allow that shit to get out of your way for good this time. Because it is like weakening your strength you know what i'm saying it's like anytime that you feel like you depressed or something in your thoughts or whatever it is it's not allowing you to get up like you're not bathing you're not eating you're not grooming yourself you're not because you know how the fuck taurus is taurus is so fly ass sexy ass i mean especially taurus man y'all bodies be oh my god Ooh. Oh, I listen, y'all made me put them cards down. Oh, ah, like Taurus, man, are you fucking kidding me? But I know, like, I have family members that are Taurus, man. I know how y'all can be down on yourself, like, especially if things are not financially in a predicament that you wanted to do. Um, if a relationship goes bad because y'all are very committed people and it's very hard for y'all to let go of a certain thing and accept change sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I can't see someone going through this depression. I can see someone not really ready to move on. You know, it's like you just like 
standing there kicking stones. <laughs> it's like you're waiting for your Uber ride to get here, but you really don't want to get in the car. But it's like, you know, you got to go, but you don't want to. So it's like... <laughs> you might be standing outside of the Uber and you like, is this for me? And the Uber's like, yeah, aren't you supposed to be going this way? He's like, um, let me check to make sure first and just like, like you doing all of this stalling shit to kind of like get in the car. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's for you. Get in the car, Slim. Like, stop. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to miss your ride. And then you're going to be stuck in this place again. And this is not where you want to... You don't want to be stuck here. You know? Like, you finally been released from this anguish. From this failure. From this, from this point of... of Feeling like you failed in your life. Everybody goes through that. Nobody is motherfucking exempt. There is no successful entrepreneur that has not one failed venture in their fucking catalog. Something that did not take off or did not rock the way that they run into a rock. That's, that's learning. That's learning. You can't let this one situation make you forget how fucking beautiful you are, my nigga. You a fucking champion. Do you understand? Why am I... Oh, God. Don't... I'm not about to say that. Why are they saying you're a ghost? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Not ghost. Not ghost. Y'all know from the, the star show, um, <laughs> ghosts. Or oh, what's it called? Power. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe it's like y'all. Okay, so it's like okay. No, they're okay. They'd be like no. But for real, remember who you are. It was like they're basically trying to tell me like, and then that that has another thing to do with um the spiritual death because it's like who you once were. Because remember, in power, Ghost was like this big big drug dealer, right? But all he wanted to do was to go the jet. That's all he was really trying to do. Like, he had already been successful in that. And he knew if I don't step away, there's only two ways out of the game. Dead or in jail. I got to know when to call shit or quits. And y'all seen how the fuck, y'all, y'all, y'all see how power ended, right? Right? So, it's still learning certain lessons from... Other books or stories of other people who hustle and fail. You don't have to. Their failure ain't your failure. You know what I'm saying? And your failure ain't that fucking bad. So pick up and keep going. And remember who the fuck you are. And don't go back to the same fucking shit that once caused you torment. Don't go back to that no more. You have to elevate. Do you see how it was like a death? Accept that failure and... Accept that failure and be thankful that you've gotten released, that your soul has been lifted from that experience and you've been given a chance to await a ride to go somewhere else. Don't delay your ride. You know? Don't just sit here in the grave site of who you once were. <laughs> Keep thinking about that. Oh, well, I used to be... I used to be a big drug dealer and shit. I used to move a. I used to move all these pounds and I used to wear Versace and d -d -d -d. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> I used to be a millionaire. I used to have all this money and I used to. Well, I was a high school s superstar. And like no. Well, shit, I was married. I had. And that was that was that relationship. It's time for a new experience. You know. So. Give me two cards over here for the crib, the ladder, and the chair filled. Thank you so much. Oh! Okay, we're done doing that. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you, but we're not doing that. I'll take these two. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. And then the Three of Swords. Okay. 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 Mm. 
I feel like this is your mother, like, this is someone's, like, um, I don't know if this is, like, a mother or some, like, type of, some woman with, like, a motherly, nurturing spirit with her. Like, this woman loves animals. This woman loves nature. This woman loves trees. This woman loves cooking. This woman loves children. Like, the same way she loves you, she loves her animals. The same way. Like, I'm literally getting that. Like, this woman loves animals. So, like, I wouldn't even be surprised if... Everywhere you go, if someone has a dog or a cat or fucking a goldfish or something, like, they flock to this woman. She has, like, some type of earthly energy with her that is, like, fucking insane. Like, her cooking is insane. Like, she may have a garden. She may have, like, long, flowy hair, even though, like, I think this woman is bald-headed on this show. But, you know, or just may be very natural and curly or in, like... Um, just a naturalist, a naturalist, and has a natural gift of perfection as well. She, like, money sticks to her, it flocks to her. She's always inventing something, like, she's her own little fucking enterprise, almost. Um, I want to say, like, someone comes to this woman broken. And for my Taurus women, I don't know if this is someone that's coming to y'all broken, it's like emotionally destroyed. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I don't know. Thank you for confirmation. But it's like, Taurus, I feel like this is, is it, I don't know if this is someone coming to y'all like that. There's someone over here on this side that is releasing and, and being uplifted and having to accept almost by force that they need to let a situation go and stop mourning over something and it's time to like get in the uber and hitch this ride to freedom you know what i'm saying to victory it's not meant for you to stay here and continue to cry over that and it's like as soon as you get in your car you're going to the west side you know what i'm saying <laughs> you're going to the west side you know i don't know if this girl from the west coast she from the Northwest, I don't know. You know, I don't know what the T is with baby girl, but um I just feel like once whoever this person is that comes into your life, you definitely reach this person still like carrying a broken heart. It's it's oh, they're saying the battered wife syndrome. What the fuck is that about? Jesus. Battle wife syndrome. Fuck. Mmm. I don't like that. It's just like someone that suffered like a whole bunch of abuse. They're saying childhood abuse. Um. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So they're saying battle wife syndrome. If it's a male coming to this woman, if it's a male coming to this Queen of Pentacles this way, it's like battered wife syndrome. Like this boy's mother could have been a battered wife and could have suffered a lot of abuse. And she abused her kids. And then her kids abused other people. And it's like the cycle goes on and on and on. And like the 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 kid could have had two failed situations or something because it's like he or she recite because women too they're, like there are women that be abusing their dudes and shit too like it's some crazy shit but it's like battered wife syndrome it's ever like a woman that keeps being in repetitive like abusive relationships or this is the child of a woman that was the battered wife syndrome person and it's just carrying on down the pike but it's like it's like life beat this person up somehow it's like someone suffered a painful loss a spiritual death and had to learn a lesson you know what i'm saying this is overkill this is like suffering so this is something that it was like 
over. This is abuse. Do you understand? It is abuse in some fucking way. It's like someone doing it over and 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 over. Oh, like, like fucking crazy. Like, you can punch somebody one time. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is like you trying to beat someone to death almost? Like, that's... Jesus, why am I getting this? I want to say, like, you come to this person this way. Um, someone comes to you this way, y'all. And I want to say this woman, whoever this woman is, I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's someone's mother. I don't know if it's someone that's just, like, a very... No, it's, that can't be this person's mother because this person's mother is the reason why they are this way. This is somebody else that whoever this person is... This is somebody else. And it's like... You're coming to this person this way. And it's like they help heal you almost. Because do you even see the bull? You see how the woman is like nurturing the bull? Loving the bull? It's like I don't know. It's like this person never really experienced love. Like I want to say only thing this person knows is torment and abuse. From a long time. From a long time. From a long time. A long time long time suffering that's kind of like carried on through this person's life and I want to say this person is like tired of suffering and really just wants to be healed and want to be around someone that's going to make a difference that's going to make a change in their life and God why do I feel like I'm about to cry y'all not about to do that to me sure not I just felt like this and it's not even me crying it's just, it's just deep in my chest I just felt a, <gasps> I just felt like that but it's not me like I know when it's my energy like it's not me it's like someone is heaving right now like god damn alright give me guidance thank you so much give me guidance here queen of pentacles three of swords ten of swords in the reverse, three of wands in the reverse, the owl, the angel, the wreath, the chair field, the ladder, the crib. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So, I'm not even going to try to pronounce these. And then, I really only take the ones that's up. And then the ones that are like kind of on the side. It's meant to be visible to me for a reason. And I slightly see this one too. Um, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Let me see. <laughs> okay. All right. So, right off the bat, this means a. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce these rooms because I'm not about to sit here and look stupid. This means a means growth, like signs and um means like powerful words being spoken to you so again remember when we're talking about like spiritual guidance protection from harm you know sorrow over loss and again swords means like communications and i, I kind of it's like i want it's like someone's speaking to you in a way where again get advice from a wise person I want to say, like, God may have guided you to this person. This person was guided in your life for a reason. I don't know if it... Because there's someone here. It's like they're suffering from some type of abuse. And on some type of level, it's, it's, it's abuse that you're doing to yourself because it's like you won't rid yourself of something and accept something as over and just move on. You know what I'm saying? And you're allowing yourself to be depressed and you're stagnating yourself. But again, like I said, 
I want to say it's like someone that don't know no better. If only thing you know was hurt and torment and abuse and being in this way, you don't know what it's like to be happy, to be in a healthy relationship too. You know what I'm saying? That's all you've ever seen people do. And again, it's saying extreme childish and abusive behavior, um, compulsiveness and like all of that. And it's like that's all someone's ever seen, you know? So it's like, how can you ever believe in something else when you've never seen this shit before in the flesh? Like, it's, the, it's like if you've only been around toxic, ghetto-ass, childish people that are irresponsible, don't do shit for themselves, or burdens on other people, cause a whole bunch of mischief and confusion, self-destructive. Like, how can you learn to be anything else if that's all you've ever seen people do? That's all you've ever seen. Hurt people hurt people. You know, this is a, there's a solution coming to help fix that problem. There's someone that's going to speak some powerful words into you so much that it's going to make you get the fuck up off of that floor and stop remembering all of the shit that hurts you. Like, it's something that's going to trigger you and you're going to get the fuck on that bus and you're going to move. And like, when you finally get in that three of wands, like, mode for real, for real. It's like, you're going to physically move the fuck away from these people for a long time. It's like, so you can finally get some fresh air and a fresh perspective of what life and what love is. Like, this is what life and what love is. It's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? It's like, not, not people that's going to put you down and not people that's going to teach you an ill way of life to live. Like, it is like... <laughs> Like, I don't know, like, this woman is, like, extremely positive, that promotes health, that promotes growth. You know what I'm saying? She's not going to aid in helping you hurt yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, 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 a mother, like, I don't know, like, y'all ever seen them ghetto-ass mothers who be letting their, their kids drink beer and be teaching their kids how to cuss and letting their, their teenagers smoke weed and do dumb ass shit like that? It's like, what the fuck type of parent? What type of parenting is that? I don't know why I'm feeling like that's what type of parenting someone came from, bruh. It's just like ghetto, bruh. It's like, oh, uh, the ghetto, okay? And my nini leagues voice, the ghetto, okay? Someone... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's like broken, battered, and abused. And it's like this person needs this love. This person needs this aid. This person needs this treatment. This person needs to be around something healthy to see that there could be something different in their life. And I'm not even going to lie because of where this person came from. I'm not. I'm trying to tell you they're not even going to know how to treat it. They're not. They're not. And they don't know how to treat it because they've never had it before. It's never been established in their life. And they're saying one, two, three times a charm. You know what I'm saying? So it might take, it may take like three forms of communication or like maybe three chances or three tries or something. But it's like, this person, they're like literally saying like eventually this person is going to get it. You know what I'm saying? Be Okay, so this woman just said you can't you can't take your suffering and your abuse out on me, and that's what you're not going to do. <laughs> like, so I want to say that she could have sent you away three times. She could have sent you away three times, like, cause I, I and I feel like it's twice. For like a self check to like truly get you established so that you could be stable. I'm I'm serious. It's like the third time's the charm. You're gonna come back and you're gonna get your communication right and you're finally gonna listen to what the fuck she has to say and it's going to like I'm serious like a rebirth. It's like a rebirth here. They're saying spiritual ingenuity. Okay, now all right. All right, because again now and then and okay now here comes this grief and this misfortune and all of this stuff like that. This wasn't in the upright; it was on the side. But it's trying to tell me like this is what 
is passing by. This is what you're passing by right here. That's why it really was shown to me in upright. It was like this. And I could barely see it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're going to be able to barely see where you where you came from. This pain and shit that you it's like you're you're going to pass it by and it's going to pass by and it will pass by so don't collect it you see how like this is in it's like a bowl shape like something is pouring down turn it no no turn that <laughs> tell you what i'm saying you pour that shit out pour that negative shit out the true uh way that this is supposed to be it's like it's like this here it's like this here. But when I look at it in this angle, it looks like a bowl, like almost like it's collecting something. Do you understand? Like it's collecting something. So if it's going to collect anything, make sure that it's collecting what it means here. What it means here on this side, it means good luck. It means blessings. It means being initiated, you know? It means having knowledge of the future. Knowledge of one's destiny. It means increase. You know, fate, fortune, positive gain, like all of that. You know what I'm saying? In, in like in the other direction, in the other direction, and even when I see like in the other direction, like if it's down, if it's down, I feel like it's pouring out that negative. You know, the negative is like hidden info, uh, misfortune, like unseen shit you know it means like there's some type of risk or some need for you to take caution in some type of way do you understand like someone being fraudulent um again like it's like a twist of fate you know what i'm saying like a twist of fate in some reason because when you're in the all-knowing situation this means that you have kind of insight of the hidden knowledge like you're being initiated initiated into um being able to see people's fate being able to see your own fate you know what i'm saying like being able to understand the future and like your positioning where it is right now and how it projects to the future how it creates your future like you have all of that gift you know what i'm saying you have all of that so in some aspect in your life, um, there's some type of loss and misfortune that you've came from. And instead of you collecting more of that energy, I need you to pour that out and understand that you were kind of being initiated in a way where God is trying to show you your future. God is trying to show you your fate. God is trying to show you something and trying to get you to understand the unseen. Like, yes, you don't know what it's like to be different and to be happy and not be suffering and not, you know, live this life of fake ass fraudulent people. and talk. You know what I'm saying? Or even. It's, it's something about like fake fraud ass people like mean demonic even evil abusive ass people it's like surrounding yourself around that it's like collecting that energy and continuously being hurt by that either you yourself being that level of abusive to other people or you keep putting yourself in such circumstances where you're constantly being they're saying surmise to that. This card right here. I mean this is not a card. It's a freaking room. But this means like. Like lack of vision. Um, it kind of means like stupid. Like stupidity. Like you know what I'm saying. Like no self esteem. Like low self esteem. Like falling from grace. Ruin. Bankruptcy. You know what I'm saying. Like the need to take caution. You know what I'm saying. Like. Uh, practicing restraint you know easy come easy go do you understand so this could be like this could be saying to me right here is like someone not necessarily understanding their fate and how their movements and how their projections 
uh, affect their life and their future. And it's like allowing people around you that allow discord. Like, I want to say like this. It's just like reckless, stupid behavior around surrounding yourself around people that like have no honor, that agree, that will lie to you, that would cheat. You know what I'm saying? That are fraudulent, that bring a lot of misfortune and loss. It's like a whole bunch of loss. Like that's that's all this that's what this is explaining right here. It's like you need to practice restraint. You have to practice caution you can't keep you know searching and having a hunger for that it's like being around people that hurt you or like low level experiences you gotta pull yourself up out of that stop aiding the suffering from that like you gotta stop because it's like those people weren't meant for you anyway so like they're saying get your foot, you get your footing together and prepare yourself to walk away. This is a major arcana right here. Okay. This means immortality. It means strength. It means reliability. It means dependable. It means trustworthiness. It means growth. Accepting that change is a way of life. It means going through challenging trials but being steadfast. You know, being resilient. Accepting life changes and life challenges. Do you understand? A mortal adaptation. Being unbreakable. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like once you realize that you have that. And understand with the suffering. And even secluding yourself. And allowing yourself to mentally victimize your own self with these memories and these thoughts. And... Not letting shit go. Because I want to say it affects your personality and how you're dealing with people. You need to realize that too. The more and the more that you allow yourself to sit there and be victim to that. And I'm sorry. Like God is telling me to tell y'all this is a tough truth for somebody that is doing this. Because it's either you're experiencing yourself or this is someone coming to you this way. And you don't understand what the fuck is wrong with this person. Do you see what I'm saying? Like. This person is coming to you this way and you have not been able to understand what the fuck is going on, what's wrong with your relationship. Because this person is coming to you in a fucked up way. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, they really do need aid. They really do need, you know, they need help. They really do. You know? They really do. So it's like, you have to learn how to convey through speech um, and, like, get this person to understand, like, divine order, you know? Um, it's like learning how to let go and let God, like, <laughs> literally, like, accept your blessings, like, and, and get this person to really take the advice and understand the vision that... God is trying to speak into you. It's like you're not as broken as you think you are. It's, you know, someone has the gift of life in their voice and how they talk to this person and how they nurture this person. It's like they get this person to see this thing in a different perspective. It's like to kind of get them to grow up. And it's like this person, they really just needed the appropriate love and nurturing but you gotta come at this woman the right way you can't come at this woman in the same attention pattern that you did before with other people and deal with this person with the same level of abuse that you've been inflicted to yourself and that you used to do to other people you can't do that like that you know and I'm serious I really do feel like it's going to be like Three different experiences with this individual for them to get it right to realize that you have to come humble and with respect. It's not about the fact that you're hurt and that you come from this fucked up place in your life. She has no problem with that. But you got to want, listen, you got to be resilient. You got to show strength. You got to show want. You got to show desire. You got to show fortitude. You know what I'm saying? You got to show her that you really fucking want this. And you mean it with every fiber of your bone. And she's there for you. Bottom line. But you're not going to come at her the wrong way. 
You know what I'm saying? You're not going to come at her the wrong way. But like I said, that chair has been filled with this person. And I want to say that this person came into your life for a reason. Um, it may result into the birth of a child something later. And you got the Ace of Pentacles right here. So this is a new beginning. Something that's going to last a long time. Something that actually is like, it's starting a foundation from something. Starting from the ground up. It's like rebuilding, but it's like, we're not rebuilding off of luck. We re we're rebuilding off of education. It's like, after everything that we blur from this situation, you take up all of that knowledge and turn it into a resource. It's a resource. It's like you learn how not to hurt people, how people hurt you, and how to treat situations and just be better. And like you're finally starting to see the growth and the wealth in your life. It's like shit may be looking up for this person. Whoever this person is that's going through all this change in their life. It's like they may finally get the job that they've been really searching for. It's like something that makes them feel like something. You know what I'm saying? I finally feel like something. I finally feel accomplished. I finally feel... I don't want to take this because it's on the floor. But it's the Seven of Cups. But I don't want to take it because it fell on the floor. Um, But then that's still like... The Seven of Cups is like... Finally being open to your options. Getting some like self-order inside like going inside yourself and deciding what you really want do i really want to stay this way or do i it's like someone being scared of success like I, I, like why am i scared of being successful you know what i'm saying like i know if i just straighten out and do certain things the right way and not continue the same patterns that i'll actually be able to get some shit that is worth my while and i'll be able to see like a substantial change in my life you know what i'm saying so I definitely see... Ooh, bitch, you got the lovers. Okay, I'm done. I'm the fuck done. <laughs> I'm done. But I got that... What's that? The king of swords in the reverse. And then the four of swords. And then the five of swords. Again, like, I'm... I'm, get, I'm Why am I getting some abusive shit here, bruh? I don't know. Why the fuck am I getting abuse? It's either this person has a tendency towards abuse... Because they suffer from abuse themselves, it's just like, again, I don't know if it's like mental abuse or something. Because, again, look at this. It's like, <laughs> I'm getting like with this, with this King of Swords in the reverse, it's like this man. I want to say he's too smart for his own good and he knows how to use his words as weaponry. Like, he's a smart aleck or he likes to um, talk to people in a way where they feel undervalued or like they're uneducated. Like, they're not smart enough to be around him or like not smart enough to talk to him or something. Like, um, Oh, they said like like be spitting on your ideas or it's it, this is something very down putting and um he only has very individualized concepts that's based on himself and the his thinking like anything outside of his thinking he doesn't understand it and really doesn't want to hear what you got to say like and again a fucking narcissist like some level of the way that this person talks and deals with people in a very manipulating, uh, deceptive kind of way. It's like, skips around the truth, doesn't really answer questions, but wants all of the information out of it. It's like all this crazy ass shit. I don't know why I'm getting that. This woman, you see how with this four swords? It's like she took a fucking time out. You know what I'm saying? She took a fucking time out, but not before she ripped your ass fucking destroyed. <laughs> not before she got your ass together. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because it's like, you're not going to verbally abuse me. You're not going to come here in your fucked up situation and think you're going to beat me up and say fucked up things to me. And damn sure not going to put your hands on me. It's something about 
It's something about this shit. And I don't think that this has any, this three of swords, I don't think that it has anything to do with cheating. I don't think that it has anything to do with cheating. I ha it has something to do with someone's fucking lifestyle and how they live and their mindset and the way they talk to people and they're saying physical disruptions in relationships it's like i am getting like some level of fucking abuse like someone doesn't know how to not get upset without putting their hands on people or something like that do you see how like this woman had to like rip this nigga to shreds like you know what i'm saying it's like it's a loose loose situation for the both of you. Damn. Why am I getting this shit now? It's like a situation is getting put to rest. It's, it's like no more suffering this time. I don't like that, bro. I don't like that. I don't fucking like that. I really don't fucking like that. I really don't fucking like that. Because I don't know if they're telling me why this person is needing the aid. Like, what really happened. I want to say someone was abusing the shit out of some fucking woman. This... What is this? This King of Swords in the reverse? I don't know if he could be... If if that Queen of Pentacles over there is this person's mother or something. But it's some... And, and, and they're like... It's like she hasn't been telling nobody this shit. It's like... I want to say like this girl is like going to the grave with the secrets of like abuse or something. Of what this person. She's like of what this person. Has done. I'm so serious. It's like she's resting. Like this person could have cheated too. With the three of swords above her. So it was like she may not be. Speaking to someone. She may not be saying something. To whoever this person is. Because of the cheating and the physical abuse. And whatever he's going back to tell his mother. Like oh. It's like he's lying. It's like he's just. She's like saying he just wants someone to take care to take care of him and his side of the story. But she suffered abuse. And I, I'm not even going to say that she wasn't abusive herself because she had to fight. It's like she had to stand up for herself. But it was still a lose-lose situation. Like the five of swords is someone being outsmarted, being overpowered. Like someone... Planning and strategizing to use you in a very manipulative way for their own gain and power and substance. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I do not like that at all. And I'm not trying to make that too long. I'm just going to leave that alone and let that be what it is. But I want to say that there could be someone that had to go back to their mother for some type of aid and rebirth. It's like, I have a, and if this is a woman, if there's someone that you've been dating, um, there's someone that you've been dating. And this person, it's like you keep cutting them off uh, for situations. I, it's like I can't even speak, yeah. It's like I can't even speak. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. Because um, I don't like seeing this. And I always see this fucked up shit in Taurus fucking reading. It's like it's always y'all reading. And I can't remember what other sign it is that I always be seeing. Like physical abuse. But it's like someone got to get it this time. Um, it's like, because it's, they're saying to me now, it's like someone had to be sent back home. Because it's like he, he was going to beat this woman to death. Like seriously. Either he was going to kill her or she was going to kill him. Like dead ass.
dead ass. And I was kind of alluding to it too, like when I was saying before this even came out, this person is trying to grow or needs to hear this to grow so that they can understand that this new beginning is imperative in their life. Like, it's imperative. Imperative. You need to get past the suffering and get towards the growth and positive love. And if, if whoever this man is willing to really go through the If someone is really to really put down the cycles of abuse that they have been witness to, that they have been suffered, that they've suffered, and that they've even inflicted on other people. If they're willing to really get and receive aid and help, because this new woman, if this is a new woman, she is not going to let you do that shit. Because again, I'm kind of getting like, this could be him telling her, like this little bull. I don't know, I'm getting counseling. Because she's, because like the Queen of Pentacles is like a teacher as well. It's like, or a counselor. Like, she may be aiding and helping him. And he's telling her about what he's did. What he did. Ugh, okay. Let's wrap this up because I already know it. I feel like this shit is getting long. But I'm sorry. Like, I got to thoroughly explain what the hell I be getting. I ain't one of these readers that just be trying to get y'all no readings. Like, 10, 15 minutes or some shit. I'm like, how the hell? I'm going to explain some shit in 10, 15 minutes. Clarify this Ace of uh, Pentacles with the Angel, the Owl, the Three. Okay. The seven of diamonds. That's good. The king of clubs. Okay. And then the three of clubs. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. So it's like you're working overtime to fix things and take responsibility for your circumstances. That's basically what God is telling me. It says all... That we see and seem is but a dream within a dream. And that's the only one I'm going to read. Because <laughs> these other ones is. Wow. Ooh. Then this one says. The words have no power to impress the mind without the exquisite horror of their reality. So the three of clubs represents again. Remember I said like someone getting some type of help, some type of aid, some type of counseling, like learning something new, a new way. Remember the ace of pen the ace of pentacles is a new idea, like new plans, a new existence, a new foundation. It could be like a new home, a new job, like the beginning point of your new legacy, what you're known for. You know what I'm saying? So Something that you're building. Something that it takes time to grow. It's not something that comes quick. Anything that comes quick is temporary. Something that is built to last. You got to take your time and understand it and educate yourself about it. This Three of Clubs is about education. And basically what this is telling me by it saying words have no power to impress the mind without the exquisite horror of their reality. Remember when I was telling you that this person is coming to someone broken, fucked up, and kept getting getting sent away like two or three times. You know what I'm saying? Where they had to come and get their fucking mind right. Because it's like clearly she sees that you need help. She see that you come from a broken home. And I want to say she's not stupid. She sees the abuse. She sees the shit, but you're not going to do that to me. You damn sure not going to do that to me. And if you want me to help you, if you want me to love you, you have to learn how to respect love, how to treat it, how to nurture it, how to keep it. You can't threaten and abuse someone and make them love you by tormenting them and you know 
that's that's God, that's why I feel like that's what this person dealt with. It's like, ugh. It's like some suffering through childhood. Like some crazy ass shit, bruh. It's like I'm gonna abuse you. Like, have you ever seen a, a, a person that's being abused and mistreated and they go out their way to try to impress the abuser to get them to love them? Type of thing like that. It's like, that's what type of uh, abuse or type of love, that's, that's the love that they understood. You can't love me that way. This is the King of Clubs. The King of Clubs is legitimately like the King of Pentacles. The King of Pop... What is a, a Taurus? A Taurus loves popularity. They love finances. They love clothes. They love luxury. They love friends. They, you know what I'm saying? Like every Taurus that I know, they are very popular. They're a high stepper. They're a high dresser. <laughs> Man, I'm talking about name brand down to the fucking socks. You hear me? Like has a very big following. Could very much so be the king of a club. You know what I'm saying? Very popular online. Very popular in person. Just someone that just sticks out. You know what I'm saying? To just Your eye just grabs and just gravitates to this person. They look good. They smell good. They talk very highly educated. They just all of that. Do you understand? So it's like. Climbing towards success, that crib, and again, crib means housing, means nurturing, means that mother, you know what I'm saying? Like a child, someone aiding you, tech, protecting you, nurturing you like you a child, showing you a new way, a new way of living, so that you could truly be that king of pinnacles, that king of clubs, that king of pinnacles it's like the king of clubs is like the king of pentacles and the king of wands mixed all together. Fine and finances and <laughs> sex, luxury, good food, and sports. Like all of that shit. All of that motherfucking shit. But it's like you had to kind of be dragged through hell. It's like you, whoever this person was had to go through the horror of the lack of not having you know what I'm saying like being one of the have nots you know what I'm saying to get how to love right how to treat their self right how to treat the universe right to get to where they're going and they definitely have a chair filled but I want to say with the right type of person that could teach them to stop abusing themselves and stop abusing everyone the fuck else. You know what I'm saying? It's like you are not from which you come from. You have to want to want better. You have to want it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what this is saying. That is what this is saying. Immortality. Adaption. Ad adaptation. Like please. Like learning how to like change. Strength. That takes strength. Dependability, growth, accepting that change is the way of life. That's the only way that things is going to be better. That's the only way that things is going to grow. And again, it's like, it's like she understands his darkness. She does. She don't accept it though. This is like a different form of communication. It's like a different form of love. Like a love through like intuitively getting who each other are and helping each other bring change in their life. A new beginning. A new beginning. Past all this hurt and all this dumb shit. And I can't say that and now it takes a Badass motherfucker, it takes a risk. It takes a fucking risk to know that you have someone that comes from an abusive lifestyle and has the tendency to hurt people and, 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 and you have the risk of them hurting you to try to help them change. But what if they really change and really change for good and forever? The, the, seven of pen, the seven of diamonds is like... The seven of diamonds is like 
the big, it's like a lottery card. You know what I'm saying? You guys winning the lottery. Like a, a it's like a big stack of money. Like a big winning. It's like the good luck card. Um, I want to say it's like a card of travel as well. This I want to say this card represents travel. Let me look this up just to make sure. Because I don't know why my mind is going blank right now on this on this card of all damn cards. The seven, yes. It says it means financial achievement, reward, recognition, earned success, steady improvement, efforts, rewarded, lucky money, wins, a pay raise, improved prospects, a nest eggs, financial investments, stocks, bonds, and e-training. E-trading. E-trading. So, again, we're saying climbing the ladder of success. I definitely said I seen some things stepping up in finances for you. And you definitely see that here. This is like the yes card. Like you get the job. You're going to receive the money. You're getting the payout. You know, you're getting a new start. Something that's going to last this time. Something that's going to come out to something good. It's like you get it. You deserve it. You won. You understand? So, this is like someone not backing down, accepting the help, and it, it's, they're saying not balking at leadership because it's like, they're saying like normally no one could say something, couldn't say anything to you. It's like, you, it's, it's like, it's like someone has to go through the hot knocks. It's like they have to go and learn shit for their self. But it's like actually receiving and accepting help this time and allowing it to make you grow. They're saying a substantial existence, not something where it's like you all the way at the bottom. Wrongfully right. Like, that doesn't make any situation. That doesn't make any sense. But so, they're saying, like, wrongfully right. You're doing all of the wrong. In the past, like, doing all the wrong things for all the right reasons. Because you didn't know anything else to do. You know what I'm saying? But coming from all of the wrong doesn't make what you're doing right. Doesn't make it right. Just because you come up from fucked up people doesn't mean that you need to become fucked up yourself. Because that's all you know. When you know that there's good out there in the world. You know you could be different. You know you can accept change. You know? So accept change. And whoever this, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is that's helping this person, my hat goes off to you because you a strong-ass motherfucker. Because if you could love a person like this through all this darkness and really help this person receive the love, because it seems like this person really just need love. Mm, 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 mm. You a bad motherfucker. Listen, Taurus, y'all ain't about to worry me today. I got to get the hell up out of here because I done been talking to y'all for a whole hour and a half. And y'all ain't about to do me like that. Now, listen, if y'all need some more <laughs> guidance, y'all holler at me <gasps> on the flip side. All right? Hit me up on Instagram. Taurus, I love you. Continue to love yourself. And continue to accept change, baby. Continue to accept change. Like, climbing the ladder of success. The chair is filled. It's like someone that truly loves you. And that loves you loving you. And it's young. Oh my God. If you ever seen a fucking tourist that really be on their shit and that be thriving. And that is completely. I don't want to say full of their self. But like for real full of their self. Like that is a sight to be old. Because y'all are some <laughs> funny motherfuckers. I got to go look by tourists. I'm out. Peace.